Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the C++ link library uh, which is a library that offers a lot of high order functions for range manipulation. So in, order, uh, in other words, this library offers us a lot of operators uh, to operate over, for example, arrays of elements and allow to do operations such as filtering all the elements of uh, the array that fill a given criteria, getting the, the first element or the last element of an array, um, for example, checking if all the elements of an array um, fill a given criteria, all of these with a much uh, compact syntax. So, for example, when we want to filter all the elements of uh, an array that fill a given criteria, one common approach is doing a for loop and for each element of the array, uh, we check, for example, uh, if that element fills a criteria and probably we push it to, to another list. Uh, imagine that after filtering we went, for example, to take the first five elements, probably our for condition will be a little bit more complex or we'll do another for condition. So obviously there are a lot of ways of solving this with traditional programming, uh, but C++ link library offers us a lot of operators uh, that allow us to do this in a, a much more elegant way, okay? So obviously uh, I'm, uh, I'm not claiming that this will that this should be used in, in every use case. Obviously, this, this library is an alternative uh, to do common operations over sequences of elements. Uh, and obviously, depending on the use case we are working, it may make sense or not make sense to use it. Uh, nonetheless, I think it's very important to know uh, new libraries, new concepts of programming that we can apply and make our, our programming uh, more sophisticated and, and more powerful. Uh, one thing I would like to mention is that the syntax of uh, C++ link library is based on uh, the link syntax uh, from the C-sharp language, which is a very powerful syntax. I encourage you to try, and if you are a C-sharp uh, programmer, uh, sure you have already used it. So, uh, regarding the installation instructions for this library, uh, I have a blog post that covers this fully. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to that blog post, uh, since the, the, um, the procedure is pretty simple, but it's a bit boring, like installing any, <laughs> any software or any library. So I'll leave that um, for you to follow in, in, um, in the description, okay? So from this point onward, I'm assuming that we have already installed the C++ link library, um, and we can already use it. So this tutorial uh, that we are going to cover was tested on uh, ASP32 on a Fire Beetle board from the F-Robot. Nonetheless, C++ link is a generic uh, C++ library, and I've already tested also this code um, in a, in a Fire Beetle board, in SPA266 Fire Beetle board, also from the F-Robot, and it works uh, pretty much the same because this is generic C++ code, and obviously you can even use this code, except for uh, all that is microcontroller related, like the, the serial port opening, but all that is C++ link uh, related, you can use it outside the scope of microcontroller programming, because this is a generic C++ library and you can use uh, in other uh, C++ uh, programs. So moving on to the actual code, and again, assuming that you have already uh, installed uh, this library, the first thing we, we need to do is including it here at the top, uh, so we have access to all the operators that it has to offer. Let me just say that in this tutorial we are going to cover a very, very simple uh, use case where we are going to get the first element of an array, Obviously, this is something that we can do very simply, accessing the array with uh, the square, the square brackets or the subscript operator. Uh, obviously, this is not the, the common use case that we use for for C++ uh, link, uh, but this is just to get acquainted with the syntax and uh, with the concepts of this library. Obviously, in the next tutorials, we are going to cover more advanced use cases. Okay, so going back to the code. The first thing we need to do is including, as I already said, the C++ link library, and then we are going to, to put here this using directive uh, to indicate that we are going to use the C++ uh, link namespace. Otherwise, every time we, um, we wanted to invoke an operator uh, from, this, from this namespace, we, we need to put the, the, um, the name of this namespace, uh, C++ link, and we'll have to use um, the scope resolution operator everywhere. So to avoid this, we are going to, to declare here the using of the C++ link uh, namespace. 
So moving on to the to the Arduino setup function, we are going to start uh, by opening a serial connection. As usual, we pretty much do this in all of our programs to be able to output some results, and this is no exception. After that, we are going to define an array of integers. Okay, uh, just a side note: uh, C++ a link can operate over arrays of objects or uh, arrays of other data types. For simplicity, we'll start with an array of integers, but obviously in future tutorials, we are going to cover much more advanced use cases where we are going to operate, for example, over arrays of uh, objects. So we are going to declare here an, uh, an array with some, some arbitrary numbers. As you can see here, something very simple. And then we are going to move on uh, to what matters, which is the, the part related with the C++ link library syntax. So one very important concept when we are working with this library is the concept of a range, which is as, uh, an object over which we can uh, apply uh, the C++ link operators. Okay, So we cannot apply uh, operators directly um, over this array of integers, we need to convert it to a range object, okay? So this is the object that C++ link is able to manipulate. So to do this, we simply need to call this from array, um, this from array operator, and we pass as input our array that we have defined before, and these, uh, these uh, operators should return a range containing these elements, okay? So from this point onward, we are able to finally start applying C++ link operators over our range. One very important thing is here this operator, okay? Uh, C++ uh, link library overloads this operator, um, and basically it allows us to chain um, other operators together. So for example here uh, we have uh, we have called the from array operator to convert our array of integ integers to a range and right away we just need to use this operator and saying that over the result we want to obtain the first element. Okay, So this other operator called first allows to obtain the first element from an array. Obviously, this again is a very simple use case. Uh, this operator, for example, uh, has other signature that allows to do more complex filtering. We are going to also cover it in more detail in future tutorials. But if we pass it without any argument, for example, uh, as we are covering here, it will get uh, the first element of our array. In this case, it's our array is already converted to a range, uh, but the output of this first operator is an element of an array. So as you can see here, we are fetching the result, we are storing the result in this variable, and after that, we are going to print it, okay? And that's it, so uh, we have already covered the, the most basic concepts, what is a range, and that we always need to convert our array to a range to be able to operate over it, and then, very important, this, this operator here, which we can use to chain multiple uh, C++ link operators, okay? We are going to also cover more complex use cases where we cover where we chain a lot of operators together, that makes sense. And now uh, we are going to test the results, okay? So recall that our array starts with the number 5, I have already uploaded this code to my SP32, so I'm going to reset it. And as you can see here, we obtain the first element of the array as expected. And that's it. So this is a brief introduction, introduction to this library. Again, um, the code we are seeing here is not very useful. It, it's, it's obviously uh, probably won't convince anyone to use the C++ link library. Uh, but this is just a simple use case to get started. And then we are going to cover more advanced ones. And again, this uh, was tested on ASP32, but it also works on ASP8266. I've tested this on my uh, Fire Beetle board from DF Robot, my ASP8266 uh, um, Fire Beetle board, and it also works like a charm. So this is generic C++ code, so we can run it in both the devices. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.